This is Paul McKenna for PT Box and I'm here today in the press conference uh, in London, Stratford, with me, promoter Eddie Hearn. First of all, how are you mate, okay? Very well, did you have a nice Christmas? I did. did you look like you had a nice Christmas? Yeah, put, put, put on a few pounds. I ain't joking, we're all in the same boat mate. I think uh, everyone I've seen, in, including yourselves, put on a little bit of a... Oh, I little bit of a... True story. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, relax on yourself. It's good, I had a couple of weeks away. Mm. Didn't tweet as much, and then I saw a few tweets. Wow, mm. Sam Jane. It's all gone quiet, mate. It's like, no, I'm just sort of half relaxing. So yeah, it's good. Um, but back to business now. Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas and New Year out the way. Uh, distant memory, and now Saturday, George Groves at the Copper Box. First of all, the the, the whole card itself. It's got a few good 50-50 fights on it. And it should good. be a good, think, good one to start um, the year. Probably say more of a trade card if you like you know mm. boxing fans card a lot of 50 50s on the on the card yeah um ben hall against how do as the first tv fight it's a good scrap mm. rider against kamitsky is a wonderful fight mm. you know, must win fight for john Ryder. definitely and yeah. then hibbert against uh martin yeah it's a great fight you know pure 50 50 in it and then groves i mean groves although he's a big favorite to win the fight you know he's always in exciting fights and the can punch so yeah, it's definitely not a pushover, no, but he's no, only no. being beat by top level exactly. to Louisa. So, um, you know, it'd be interesting to see how he gets on. Obviously, new trainer in tow as well. Mm, that's it. Um, let's see what, what what Saturday night holds. Mm. Uh, after that, the next show, will, will the next show be uh, Frampton Creek? Frampton. Yeah, February 27th. Which is February the 27th, mm. obviously. Um, massive night. Mm. Uh, Quig, Frampton, it's sort of split down the middle. No, yeah. one, uh, no, no one can think, pick between. Um, I think when the fight was made, and probably over the last year, mm. the swinging opinion has changed quite a lot. Definitely, you know, I yeah. think a lot of people fancied Frampton. Then obviously, after the Martinez fight, yeah, every, you know, not every, not not more. Still, I think it was pro Frampton. Yeah. In terms of you know the the result, but mm. I think that's changed. And I just think the build up. I think people, what I'm seeing is people saying. Fancy Quig, you know. Yeah, I think um, I think it at the minute it is slightly yeah. in favour of Quig. I yeah, think maybe. I think the betting's different. I mean, mm. Yeah, Frampton's a favourite in the betting. But listen, it's a great fight. Anything can happen. Yeah, I, I've not been so confident. Uh, I've not been as confident in a fifty-fifty. Yeah, for a long time, and it That's is it. a fifty-fifty. But I just something about Scott Quig. I just think he's a determined, stubborn individual, and I think he's got Frampton's number. Mm. Well, uh, will be fireworks that night in the for Manchester sure. Arena, and we look forward to that one. Um, after Manchester, is it then? Is it Liverpool Eggington or is it all uh, Eggington and Birmingham? Yeah, Birmingham. And then uh, good fight, good fight. really good yeah. fight. I mean, you know, the uh, the fighter against the boxer. Yeah, um, it's going to be an interesting clash of styles. Mm. A again, a pure fifty-fifty. Yeah, um, Gamalia fight against Bobby Jenkins, and on there is another fifty-fifty. Yeah. making Kalia a lot of fifty-fifty yeah, fights yeah, well, in two thousand sixteen. You know? um, and then Brooke Bizier, which. Which oh, yeah, is not a 50 50 in many people's <laughs> eyes, but you know, it's a mandatory defence, number one challenger. Um, Luke Campbell returns on that card. Yeah. Adam Etches and Towers against Allen, which yeah. is another 50 50. That's a yeah, great yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, week after, Smith against Hamady. Yeah. Um, Rocky in a good fight. Rocky in a good fight and, and looking at uh, Cardinal Dodds as well. Oh, the rematch, rematch yeah. yeah. Trying to work on which that. Which is maybe a 50 50 yeah, potentially yeah, think, well, with, with the first fight. fight. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, the week after will be Joshua. Yep. Um, against and, the yeah, working on it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's about five or six guys in the mix. Yeah, and, you know, we'll close that over the next couple of days. Yep. Um, and then you know, looking to potentially get Selby on that bill, McDonnell as well, Mackin, yeah. Murray. Um, there's some big fights, and then April sixteenth in Leeds. Speaking of Martin Murray, are we going to see? Uh, do you think we're going to see Murray Paul Smith at some point in two? Yeah, I think so. It's a good fight. I, I love Murray against Groves. Yeah, as yeah. Well. I think it's a brilliant mm. fight. I think Murray Smith's a good fight as well for both guys. So, yeah. yeah, I think that would make sense. Mm. And when, when, when is Leeds? Is April 16th. Also in yeah. April. Yeah. So that's where we're up to now. Leeds yeah. is the last one that yeah. we've... Uh, that, now. That's penciled in. OK, then, mate. Well, uh, I'm Cheers, sure mate. we'll catch up with you uh, a little bit sooner to, to, to them dates and speak more about them. But for now, we look forward to Saturday night and uh, hope 2016 starts off with a bang. Cheers, mate. Thank you.